Emily Capiello with The Gourmet Insider, and today I'm going to show you a very fun spin on an Aperol spritz. I call it my winter spritz. It's something that I like to make in the winter when I'm feeling a little fun and I'm kind of wishing for those summer days. It uses Lambrusco instead of Prosecco or sparkling wine. And Lambrusco, if you don't know anything about Lambrusco, it's a sparkling wine from Italy, mostly produced in the Emilia Romana region. And I spent some time there and I really got to know the region really well. It's like huge food and drink. Re I mean, Italy itself is the food and drink region, but Emilia Romana is where Parmesan cheese is and the great mortadella is. It's also where the fabulous Lambrusco is. So I'm going to start with, I have a glass already full of ice and you can use whatever glass you would like. Um, I just picked this one because it was fancy. It's a Schwebel glass. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going to start with two ounces of Aperol. You can do an ounce and a half if you are not the biggest Aperol fan. You know, you like it, but you don't love it overpowering your drink. Definitely, you know, an ounce and a half is fine for this, but two ounces in, here we go. So you're going to also want to put in about two ounces of Lambrusco. I personally love Lambrusco, so I'm probably, I'm gonna use a little bit more. You're going to have to eyeball this because putting it in, you know, a measure, it's not really going to work because there's bubbles, there's carbonation in here. I actually love this drink because it's easy to prepare. You can actually put out a bunch of glasses and put some Aperol, two ounces of Aperol in each glass ahead of time. And everyone can just take their Lambrusco and kind of, you know, pour it in and make it theirs. Very important this holiday season as we're, you know, working with coronavirus and kind of battling smaller parties, but it's also a great way for you to set up a cocktail and not have to play bartender the whole time. Um, so I'm going to finish this spritz off with a little bit of club soda, just a splash. And then I'm going to give it a good little garnish. I have a, an orange here. You can do it on the edge of the glass just like that. Or if you have, you know, a bigger slice and you're not really sure what to do with it. Sometimes I like to just float it on top. It makes it look super elegant, but it's so easy. And that's it. You have a winter Aperol spritz. Cheers, everyone.